Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I will teach you how to create this triangle-based geometric pattern in Affinity Designer. Not long ago I recorded a tutorial on how to create this rhombus pattern in Affinity Designer. So today's pattern is going to be similar, only that it will be based on a triangle and not on a rhombus. As I explained in my previous tutorial, in order to create a pattern for a pattern field in Affinity Designer, we first need to identify the core pattern that repeats itself throughout the composition. In this pattern, I identify the following core pattern that I highlighted with the black rectangle. So the key to identifying a core pattern is that it must end on one side where it starts on the other side. So as you can see, the pattern starts on the left where it ends on the right, and it starts at the top where it ends at the bottom. So this is what the pattern is going to look like after we have exported it. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 1000 by 1000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create. And then we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we make sure that Snapping, Snap to Guides and Snap to Object Bounding Boxes are enabled. So to create this pattern, we are going to need equilateral triangles. So that means triangles with three angles of 60 degrees. But we cannot create such triangles directly with the triangle tools as we cannot set the angles in the tool options. So that means we are going to use an indirect method to create these equilateral triangles. The way that we are going to do it is to use the polygon tool set the number of sides to 3, and then expand the polygon while holding shift, and that automatically creates an equilateral triangle with three angles of 60 degrees. So now we have our first equilateral triangle. We are going to set the stroke to none, and the field to an emerald green. And then we take the triangle, we center it on the vertical axis, right here, not very far from the center of the composition. And then we're going to use this triangle to create the first set of six triangles. So the one here. So in order to do this, we go here to enable transform origin and we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. And then we press enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We click here on duplicate and we set the number of copy to five. And here we set the rotation angle to 60 degrees. And this creates our first set of six triangles. So we select all six triangles and we press Ctrl G to group them together into one group. And now for the core pattern, we are going to duplicate it and then paste it here on the top left of the first group. So we press Ctrl J to duplicate the group and then we move it. And we position the duplicated group in such a way so that the triangles here and here overlap with the triangles of the first group. So here, if we hide and unhide it, there should be no discrepancies. So now we have all the triangles that we need to create our core pattern. So our core pattern is going to be from this point here to this point here. And from the middle of these two triangles here to the middle of these triangles here. So we are going to draw it with the rectangle tool. We set the fill and stroke to none. And then we go ahead and we draw a rectangle from here to here. So we select the rectangle and we make sure that it is in position. So it must go here through the middle of the triangles here and here. And here to the top point of the triangles. And here it must go also to the top point of the triangle. So now we have the rectangle that covers our core pattern. So the next step is that we are going to export what's within the rectangle. So first we are going to set the background to transparency. So we go to File, Document Setup, Color, and here we check on Transparent Background. So this creates a transparent background. And now we can export the content of the rectangle. So we go to File, Export. Here we set the file type to PNG as we need it for the transparency. 
and here as area we need to set it as selection area as we need to export only what's within the rectangle and then we can press on export so now that we have the pattern exported we can use it to do a pattern fill so we are going to create a new document and then with the rectangle tool and fill and stroke set to none we draw a rectangle all over the composition and then we take the vector float fill tool and while selecting the rectangle we go here to set bitmap fill and then we select the pattern that we just created and then we click on the rectangle and this creates the pattern fill with the pattern and now we can adjust the handles to make the pattern bigger or smaller all right so that was it from my side for this tutorial you learn how to create a triangle geometric pattern in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!